You already know what time it is, man. Mr. Martin 405 back with another video, man. And in today's video, man, we're tightening up odds and ends on the vet as well as waiting to take delivery of the rims and tires today. So in previous videos, man, y'all know that I was in search of my rims and tires to go on the vet, shot down to Texas, went to Omar's and a couple other shops to try to find uh, the rims and tires that I was going to go with. Didn't find anything in person, so I ordered online. They're actually out for delivery right now. So we'll be taking delivery of those, letting y'all check those out. Um, also have to test fit them, try to see how they look on here and make sure there ain't no issues. And then of course I'll be pulling them back off. So then that way I can continue getting it ready for paint. Um, which as you can see, that video please go check out that video continue to like share comment and subscribe man but yeah attended those in the last video so now i'm actually checking to make sure all my lights work which i'm not having an issue with any of them except for the brake lights on the passenger side which i think when i had my arm in there i may have pulled loose a little bit of one of those uh connectors back in there so i'm trying to button that back up outside of that um, I tie up a couple of wires up under the hood. I need to readjust my headlight on the passenger side. I need to pull the lids um, or the covers for my headlights, get those off. So that way, like I said, my goal is to pull up. I already have the parts that I plan on getting painted um, or parts that need to be pulled off to be painted to make sure that there's no areas that are left unpainted. Um, having those already pulled off. So that way all he got to do is prep them, prime them, paint them, clear them, you know what I mean? Let the thing, uh, let his heater and all that other kind of stuff, cure the paint, let it sit up there, see if it has any issues. So that way he can get it in and out as fast as possible. So parts are already out, dash is out, door panels, a couple of other things. Of course, my seat over there. So uh, console is staying in leaving the driver's seat in, of course, probably taking the bottom part of that seat out. A couple other things. Um, trying to see what else I'm going to pull. So then that way it can already be ready. That way I pull up there, drop it off. He hardly has to do anything to uh, prep it for paint. So I'll probably be pulling my side markers here. As you can see, I already start pulling my tail lights and all the other kind of stuff because I actually tinted those in the previous video. You see, I have to adjust this one. It needs to come down to this corner a little bit better. Um, that one over there is fine, but I'm taking these lids um, off of here. So then that way they can already be off of the car. So less prep that he has to do. Um, I was actually going to take my molding off, which is this molding here. But I was running into an issue getting the rest of it off, plus trying to get to the uh, screws. Don't mind the trash. Let me take that out. Um, trying to get to the screws for the front molding is a task in itself. I was able to get these off. No issue. The reason why I'm not pulling anymore is because when I went to pull this one, it actually cracked in the center. So I have to order this piece of molding. Um, and I would rather not replace any more because that one piece is 75 to 80 bucks. So uh, checked on eBay. It's on eBay for like 35 bucks, but everybody that is charging 35, 40 bucks is also charging 35, 40 bucks for shipping. Just bananas to me. But um, so I'm going to leave all that on there. Uh, try to get all that shot. Hold on, I think somebody's out. All right, anyway, false alarm. Wasn't nobody out there just yet. I thought it was a truck pulling up. Uh, but man, this delivery window is bananas, bro. Anywhere between nine to five, it's like all day. Checking the uh, info online as far as when they may be by this way. Say it's on the truck, alpha delivery. <clears throat> Excuse me, alpha delivery, um, and it's stop number 11. So I don't know where these stops are in relation to when they're going to get here. 
most of the stops are out here in the city where I am or they're a little bit further away. So again, that content is going to be coming to y'all regardless. But anyway, trying not to break any more of those pieces because I would rather spend money on stuff that I don't have outside of trying to replace things that I already have for the car, things that got broke, trying to take off, getting ready for paint. So, but yeah, man, will be, uh, my goal is to have the car finished or I would probably say 95% finished because there are some other things that I plan on working on, but the things that will be done are the interior rims and tires will be here and paint will be done. So the only other things that I plan on working on that I haven't done yet is I still have to get my uh, shocks on. Got those parts already in the garage. I haven't put those on yet, which those are yellow. So I didn't want to put those on just yet and have overspray on them. So I'm waiting to put those on until after I get it painted. Um, what other parts do I have? Of course, all my molding, my door sweeps, all that good stuff uh, that goes on the uh, outside of the door, which I already put my inside ones on, on my door panels. The new ones that go on the outside, I already have them out there, but I'm waiting again until it gets painted to get the outside molding put on. Um, I still have to do my weather stripping, which I've already ordered some of it, uh, but most of the sets that I've seen come with everything. So depending on the hardness of um, the target top weather stripping, I may redo those, just kind of depends because those are a little bit stiffer, which in all of the forms that I've checked out, they said that they would rather those be a little bit more, um, not as firm, a little bit softer. So then therefore when you're closing your door, it closes easier, which I haven't really had an issue on my passenger side door, but that driver side door closes a little bit harder now. But what can you do? You know what I mean? I would rather it close a little bit harder and the seal be there and you know what I mean? No water leaking in versus water getting in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back on the car. I may not get footage of that because again, I'm trying to trace down where uh, my issue is with my passenger side tail lights driver side is working all the other lights are working which like i said i think i maybe just bump one of those connections and it's not plugged all the way in my uh park lights will come on but i'm not getting any brake lights so i'm trying to trace that so while i do that man um uh, pause the video wait on them to get here get those delivered or whatnot of course i have footage of them getting here with those um unless they pop up on me surprise me or whatnot and i can't get y'all that footage but I have the footage of me actually having the rims, you know what I mean? Unboxing them or unwrapping them, whatever the case is. But I'm gonna jump back on this and I'll cut y'all back on in a minute. It's like that. We in business. Bingo. I got So, got him in. All right, let's see what we looking like. Baby. Flip it over if I can. Yeah, look pretty good on now.
All right, so just about got them all unwrapped. Not too bad. Need a little bit of a bath. I'll probably knock them off. Wash them off, dry them off, get them set up. I'll be doing a fit test probably after a while. Probably won't be this video. So of course I'll try to get them cleaned up. I need to move some stuff around, move the car, get it jacked up and all of that. But when you order, if you decided to order from Wheel Hero, like I did, uh, of course I'll drop the link in the description. Also, they uh, drop everything in there. Extra lug nuts that you need, a whole bunch of other stuff. Y'all see when uh, y'all click on the link. But hardware comes in the bottom, which of course, like you said, is hardware. Clothes, I get what all comes in here. Say, I think you get the, uh, the wrench that you need, lug nuts, a few other things. Let me get this open and then I'll show y'all what comes in here. All right, so what comes in here, I thought the wrench came with it, but I think that was extra, which I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, tripping. I already have one. Um, but your wheel board size, as well as all your lug nuts, and they do include your lock lugs. So you ain't gotta worry about any foolishness going on. That's a nice little 20 inch. I think it's 20 by nine and a half. Yeah, uh, guarantee their fitment, but I wanna put it on there, see how it looks, and then see how it rides before I pull them back off, get it ready for paint. All right, man, so you're on to getting these wheels off, getting the new ones on, check and see how it fit, and then check and see how it ride. And then uh, probably let them sit for maybe a day or so, pull them back off, put these back on, continue to prep for paint. 